A federal judge in Virginia has ruled that the federal laws prohibiting 18 to 20 year olds from getting handguns at federally licensed firearm dealers are unconstitutional. Has anybody heard about this? All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're in the Freedom Office South. Right. I do a lot of traveling. It's a little, a little crazy to try to figure out what, when, where, and how, and how where we are, where we're going to be, and everything else like that. So what are we talking about here? This is the federal judge rules adults ages 18 to 20 cannot be blocked from purchasing handguns. All right. So this is an article in The Hill by Julia Mueller. It was uh, published at 7.51 p.m. 05-11-23. A federal judge in Virginia has ruled that the federal laws prohibiting 18 to 20 year olds from getting handguns at federally licensed firearm dealers are unconstitutional. Has anybody heard about this? I don't think so. I don't know. I don't really watch other channels other than just to reach out and say hi to them, but I haven't seen it in a 71 page opinion released Wednesday in a U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Virginia, Richmond Division. The highly crazy that that's actually where that is because you know how, well, they're very liberal up in that area. The senior U.S. District Judge Robert E. Payne. I had a dentist. His name was Dr. Payne. Okay. So anyway, ruled that the federal laws and regulations barring the dealers from selling handguns to 18 to 20 year old violates the second amendment. Payne ruled in favor of four men between the ages of 18 and 20 who expressed a desire to purchase handguns from a federally licensed firearm dealer, denying the defense's motion. Okay. So evidently the state, all right, uh, defying, denying the defense's motion to dismiss and granting the plaintiffs a summary judgment. Hmm. How about that, guys? According to the filing, one of the plaintiffs, John Corey Fraser, had tried to buy a Glock 19X handgun from such a dealer, but the dealer denied the purchase because, of course, he was federal law. He was under 21. The Gun Control Act of 1968 already allows individuals 18 and older to buy shotguns and rifles, but handguns can be sold only to individuals 21 years or older. This is this is interesting. This is some of the things that we're getting into, and this is, uh, I think, a really neat deal because there are little wins here and there, and the constant battle that we have with people like every town from Newtown, you got the Bloomberg or whatever his name is out there, having to fight the constant battle. It's also nice to have a uh, maybe the war is not won yet, but we are winning one little battle at a time. The judge concluded that the Second Amendment's right of the people to keep and bear arms applies to people in that age group. Absolutely. Uh, and yet I often wonder why it is just the full onslaught of Democrats and Democrats only who are anti-gun. Uh, there's so many, there's such a, a, a contrast between it's either cut and dry here or there. And anyway, so because the statutes and the regulations in question are not consistent with our nation's history and tradition, they therefore cannot stand Payne wrote the Washington post, which first reported on the new opinion reported that the justice department is expected to appeal the decision. Of course they are because you got the uh, Merrick Garland, what a POS. Okay, according to the outlet, people under 21 years old are still not allowed to buy handguns from the licensed dealers before the final order has been entered into the case. Ah, uh, well, that's it. That's all they have on here. No other items uh, about it. There is a blog in the briefing room, but this is from The Hill. And I will tell you this. Uh, like I said, there's little wins here and there for these guys left and right, which is pretty interesting. But it also, it just, it kills me that these guys... The left is on a constant war with about gun control and things of that nature. It's absolutely sickening to know. Let's go ahead and I want to I want to go here and look at the blogs. We've got a couple minutes left. I always try to do at least a five minute video. That way it gives you guys a little bit. So this is the blog briefing room. All right. The ruling Wednesday by a federal judge in Jersey just beginning a lengthy court battle over the rules aimed at making it harder for 18 to 20 year olds to get handguns. Yeah, so this is another little Atlanta Dirk and Richard and Denise Lavoy Associated Press. This ought to be pretty interesting. The ruling issued Wednesday by a federal judge in Virginia. We talked about that. The judge's ruling won't go in effect until he issues a final order that would bar the government from enforcing the age limit. Like I said, man, boom, little little victory here and there. The Justice Department didn't immediately comment on a ruling, but it is likely to appeal and could ask for a final order to be put on hold while it does. Uh, you know what? Why don't you do a little bit something about the decreasing the population in the country as opposed to the population increase programs you have on the southern border? The judge cited 
the Supreme Court's June decision in a case called Bruin, which changed the test that courts had long used to evaluate gun laws. The ruling has opened the door to a wave of challenges from gun rights activists and created turmoil in the courts as judges wrestle over what gun restrictions can remain on the books. That's my radio voice. Here's a look at Virginia's judge's ruling and the impact of the Supreme Court's Bruin decision and what's next. Okay, I'm not going to go through that. Well, shit. We got four minutes, 46 seconds. Uh, All right, what happened in the Virginia case? Uh, Robert Payne in Richmond said the government failed to prove that the restrictions on the purchase of firearms by 18 to 20-year-olds is part of the nation's history and tradition. The former president, George W. Bush appointee, said that the government didn't present any evidence of such restrictions from that colonial era founding uh, or early republic. The lack of similar regulation. Well, here's the whole thing. Uh, they just think, like I said, this is the deal. They think everybody with a firearm is a potential murderer. That's it. But they don't want you to have the ability to protect yourself, much less anything else. The lack of similar regulations from those time periods indicates that the founders considered age-based regulations on purchase of firearms to circumscribe the right to keep and bear arms confirmed by the Second Amendment. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. I'm going to put the link to both of these articles down below. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, interesting case. Do you agree with it or no? Uh, the right of the people to bear arms shall not be infringed. The people, me, you, <coughs> not anything else. Well, that's it. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, uniform 24 seven for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. I got to get out here and do some more, uh, what do you call those things? Video reviews on stuff. We're going to change up a three gun rifle completely. All it had, all, all you had to do was send me another one of these. This is bad to the bone, and that means I've got to redo my whole situation. So we're going to take the Rainier Arms upper and lower set. Uh, we're going to do some fun stuff with it. And in the infamous words of the real Cobra Burnout, y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom. <laughs>